Ladies and gentlemen, I have a story for you. Once upon a time, there was a little red-headed boy. He was about this tall. I guess you can't see that, but maybe a little taller than waist uh, tall to me. And for some reason, this kid developed a fascination with a cat. He really loved this cat. He didn't necessarily know this cat. He never touched the cat. He didn't care about what the cat's cat's business is or anything like that. But one day his guardian, I don't know if it was a parent or a grandmother or whatever, took him on an out-of-state trip. And when they went there, they went to the place where the cat lived. And he asked his grandma to buy him a, one of these cat shirts. So she did, and this is the kid's favorite shirt. He just loves this. He just loves this cat shirt more than anything else for some reason. Nobody knows why. Once again, he ain't never owned no cat. He's never held a cat. For some reason, just like some little boys fall in love with trucks and stuff, he really loved this shirt. Kind of like a security blanket kind of thing. Well, one day his guardian takes him inside a store, and in that store, and this is in Lubbock, Texas, the guy's a dog lover. And all he does is he watches the dog channel all day long. He loves talking about dogs. Him and his friend get together and they jawbone about dogs. Rah, 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 rah. Okay? The little boy comes in and this grown man comes up to the little boy and says, let me fix your shirt. And the little boy, he's like proud of his shirt. He steps up and this grown ass man takes a marker and crosses out the cat on his shirt. If that's not the clearest case of bullying and bullshit I've ever heard in my life, I don't know what is. Wasn't a cat on the shirt. It was an Obama picture that said hope. For some reason, this kid really likes the president, and this kid don't know shit from politics. It's just another celebrity to him. It's just like worshiping a Teletubby or something. Fortunately, the uh, parent or guardian decided to not put this man on blast because if I knew who it was, I'd ruin his life. And I mean that. I'd ruin his business, I'd let everybody know his name, and I would, I would put it out there because we don't need to be these kind of people. You feel so strongly about this bullshit that you pick on little waist high boys? You need to make a decision with your life if you thought this story was somehow funny. There's something inherently wrong when your views, or you're so afraid of your views, that you gotta put them off on a little kid. It's an awful, awful story. I hope some of you learned a little something from this, and for the rest of you, be awesome to each other.